Hunter Biden, the president's son, prepared to enter a Delaware courtroom this morning to formally plead guilty to a series of tax charges. Mr. Biden's going to take responsibility for failing to timely pay his taxes. Today's hearing the culmination of a five-year investigation that concluded the president's son did not pay taxes in 2017 and 2018, despite owing more than $100,000. Biden has since paid back the tax bill with interest. Prosecutors are expected to recommend a sentence of probation instead of the maximum penalties for these charges, which include a year in jail for each tax offense and up to 10 years in jail for the felony gun charge that alleges that Biden was in possession of a firearm despite being a drug user. The gun charge would be dismissed after Biden completes a diversion program. Republicans not ready to move on. Was it this, this Hunter Biden's operation or was Joe Biden involved? They are still aggressively pursuing an investigation into the younger Biden's business practices. And last week presented two IRS agents who claim he was given preferential treatment by the IRS and Department of Justice. At every stage, decisions were made that benefited the subject of this investigation. The attorney general has denied those claims, and the White House says President Biden was not involved in Hunter Biden's business ventures. But his son's legal issues continue to be a political distraction for the president. Today's plea deal comes after Hunter Biden settled a long-running child support dispute last month with London Roberts, the Arkansas mother of a child he fathered in 2018. Roberts said in a court filing last year that the president and the first family, quote, remain estranged from the child, but Hunter Biden agreed in 2020 to pay some monthly child support. The White House has declined to discuss the issue. His political rivals have seized on it on the campaign trail. And back in Washington, House GOP members continue to try and link Hunter's business dealings to the president, though they have yet to produce any concrete evidence, even using the investigations to open the door to potential impeachment proceedings. In the meantime, Ryan, uh, there appears to be some sort of last-minute drama in the court. What happened? Yeah, that's right, Hoda. Anything that happens as it relates to this case is going to get a lot of attention, particularly from Hunter Biden's political opponents. And we learned that a Republican member of Congress uh, informed the court this week that they believe that a member of Hunter Biden's legal team called the court attempting to impersonate someone else. It was enough for the judge to ask the Biden legal team to explain exactly what happened. They claim that it was all just a misunderstanding. It's ultimately not going to affect what happens in court here today, but it's an example of how every single part of this case is under a great deal of scrutiny, particularly from those who want to see Hunter Biden and, by extension, Joe Biden fail. Hoda? Ryan Nobles for us here at the courthouse in Wilmington. Ryan, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.